morning everybody on this Monday, January 7th. And I'm heading into the office. I just got Nick on the bus. I'm only gonna be in the office for a couple of hours. Um, I'm pretty sure, I already worked for about 40 minutes, 45 minutes this morning. Um, but I'm heading into the office now. I plan to stop at Vitamin Shop on the way home and pick up my protein bars. Um, and then get back to work. But I'm gonna go. I'm going into the office for a couple of hours this morning, to get my required office hours in for this week, and I'm gonna be working on catching up on some email that I didn't get through last week. And this afternoon, I might be working on some training. Oh no, 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 no! I'm not gonna do any of that. I almost forgot. I have resumes to review. <sighs> resumes to review. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna be doing all day long. I'm not going to be catching up on email. I'm literally just going to be reviewing resumes all day long. Yes. Anyway, um, it is Monday. Not my favorite day of the week, but it's not a bad day either. Um, yeah. John is thinking about applying for a job. So if you have some time and want to send him good thoughts and, um, you know, good vibes and all that good stuff. He would greatly appreciate it, I'm sure. He's applying for a job with uh, the local intermediate unit at one of their schools. Um, he said he's going to apply tonight, and I really do believe him. I think he's definitely going to be applying tonight. But he uh, he likes teaching in his classroom, but he wants to make more of an impact. And the intermediate unit, this position in the intermediate unit, he's going to be more of like a... I'm going to go around and talk to a bunch of teachers and help them with their classrooms and any like specific issues that they're running into with students or anything like that. So, um, he feels like he will have more of an impact in this new job if he would get it. So, um, he said he's applying tonight, so we'll see how it goes. So if you have any, by the time you're watching this, hopefully his application will already be submitted and, um, running like that's weird anyway uh, but hopefully by the time you are watching this he has already submitted his application and uh, who knows what will happen um, he said he'd really like to do this it's something that interests him so plus there's other bonuses too um, he would get a pay raise of a good chunk get a good chunk of a pay raise and then he'd also um, be teaching at a school that would qualify him for student loan forgiveness um, his current school district every school in his current school district except for the high school which he teaches at every school in the school district um, qualifies for student loan forgiveness except for his school so and that's no little amount it's it's a good chunk of money um, it's about a quarter of the student loans that he actually took out. Uh, um, it's a little bit more than a quarter. Now, of course, with like interest and stuff, we're paying far more than he actually took out, but, um, yeah, but he'd have to work there for a year. And as long as he worked there for a year, uh, he would be eligible for student loan forgiveness. So it wouldn't be this year, like it wouldn't be 2019, but it would be, 2020 if he got if he got hired this year um, and got to work school district 2019 to 2020 2020 he would be able to get his loans forgiven um, which would be nice we still have I think four more years to pay on it so he'd get three years basically three the last three years forgiven um, it would have been nice to be earlier because then that would have been less interest we would have paid on it but I would just be happy to get the student loan forgiveness, to be honest with you. Um, so that's going on today. Um, I did take like three minutes this morning and finish editing my taste test video, and I hit process on that this morning. Um, and it was like actually less than three minutes. I don't know, like, we've actually gotten so good at filming the taste test videos, like good. So used to filming the taste test videos after three years that we really don't have many outtakes um so there's that anyway i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna get to work and i will see you guys 
later on today. All right, y'all, I just put my makeup on and I'm taking it off immediately because of reasons. Oh, wow, that is not pleasant, is it? I'm gonna move this over here. You can't see the fingerprints over here. Um, anyway, I'm gonna move you a little bit. So I filmed two videos tonight. I filmed um, the that brush video I've been telling you guys about and I filmed a uh, palette roulette. So my eye, eyes are my first palette roulette. I'm not gonna tell you the palette that I used, so sorry, you'll have to stay tuned for that if you watch Epic Beauty Fail. But um, today was an interesting day at work. I was not very fond of it. This is my last one of these. I really like these ones. Now I did get the blue ones. They don't sell the red ones or the pink ones at um, Target, but they do sell the blue ones. So I picked up the blue ones. The difference is, is that this one is luminous clean. And it just says that it's got white, uh, soft, oh, buttercups barking at something, with soft white kaolin clay. And this one just has vitamin E. So this one, I guess, has some sort of clay in it. I guess. Other than that, they look basically the same, and, except that this one had more in it. This one had 34 and this one only has 28. So I'm sure this was like an old packaging because I got it at Ollie's. So I'm sure it was just like an old packaging and they probably changed the number of, of uh, wipes that they put in the packaging from 34 to 28 and probably kept the price the same. So I got the pink one at Ollie's like on a whim the one time. I was like, oh, I'll get some of the Pons. Pons is good for, you know, makeup removal i'll get that um and then i've never seen it in there again and i really like them so i bought a couple of packs of the blue ones because they don't irritate my skin and if i can get makeup wipes that don't irritate my skin that is a bonus for me um i haven't rebought the ones that i had before that i had gotten from um uh marshall's i have another pack it's just not exactly the same. I think the other ones I had was like a grapefruit or a pineapple or something. And I have a different one in my drawer. I have lots two different ones when I um when I bought those. So I have plenty of makeup wipes. Plenty of makeup wipes. I certainly don't need any more. But I like the ponds so much. That's why I went back and bought more of the ponds. Um, it just doesn't sting my skin which is priceless as far as I'm concerned. Like if I use, there's, I have several other makeup wipes on my table here. You guys, if you guys watched the, um, the face mask video that I did with John in January, um, I think there's a little portion of that where we're talking about makeup wipes where he's like, this one I said, no, this one, no. So I wanted the ones that I didn't like so that I wouldn't, the ones that like burn my, my face and stuff. Now these ones do give me a little bit of twinge, but for the most part, they're good. But I wanted to get my makeup off because, um, honestly, it's because of the brush. I normally will only use a brush after I wash it, but this brush was encapsulated in plastic and I like had to cut it out of the plastic. So I was like, oh, I don't need to wash it, but oh my golly, it smelled bad. It smelled very chemically and very bad. So I went ahead and used it anyway because I was already like started the video and stuff, but that's the reason why I'm taking the makeup off because it smelled so bad and I didn't want to leave, I didn't want to leave the makeup on my skin for long because I don't know what was in the brushes, if that makes sense. Cause it seems like the older I'm getting, the more sensitive my skin is becoming. Anyhow. I had a crappy day at work. I actually went back and forth in an email with my boss. My boss sent me an email and she's like, hey, on this project, do we have an update? And specifically, the person that had sent her an email was looking for a project schedule. And I responded with, no, we were supposed to get a project schedule in December, but we didn't get it from the project manager. She said, well, that doesn't answer my question. What is, what is, what is the, the team, project team doing right now? So I gave her like a paragraph of what they're working on right now. And then she comes back and says, but this doesn't answer the question. Where's the project schedule? 
I responded, I said, we requested the project schedule. We have not received it yet. She didn't respond after that. I don't know if I'm just gonna have to give her a call tomorrow and talk to her, I don't know, but there's that. I looked at a couple more resumes today. I didn't get through them all. I mean, I have so many to look at. It's just not gonna be very easy to get through them all. But anyway, I got my makeup off. I am, right now, I'm gonna go ahead and edit yesterday's vlog, which I have not done yet. What time is it? Do I have my watch on? No. It's eight o'clock. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit yesterday's vlog and get that uploading. I already have Tuesday's taste test video uploading right now. Is it done yet? Oh, it is then. Yay. Tuesday says this is done, which means I can go ahead and upload Wednesday's what I ate in a day real quick because that'll only take a couple minutes. Um, and then I can go ahead and upload Wednesday's Epic Beauty Fill video because I'm not getting any beauty boxes before, before Wednesday. I ordered my Target boxes today though, so that was good. And I'll be honest, they had one box that they said was a skincare box and the other box they said was a beauty box. And the beauty box has nothing but skincare in it. And the skincare box actually has an eyeliner. Whatever. But I ordered them both. They should be here by the end of the week. I think it said Monday, but usually it gets to me within like two or three days after ordering. So it'd be nice if it got here by Wednesday so that I could film it for Thursday's video. But who knows? It probably won't get here. Oh, I am also keeping my empties. Because I'm doing Project Pan, my plan is to do like maybe a quarterly empties or maybe a twice a year empties, like six months and then a year. Or maybe I'll just do it at the end of the year and just do one empties video in December. Um, but this is my first empty. So that's good. I'm um, my powder that I have for Project Pan. If you guys watch me on Every Beauty Video, hold on, I'm going to show you my powder. So this is my powder already. If you guys can see, I'm already on pan there. Um, this might actually be done by the time February starts. But this is a very soft, this is the um, It Bye Bye's Pores Pressed, and this was just a mini that I got in a beauty box. But this is like super soft, like super, super soft pressed. It's not very hard pressed. So I've actually gone through one of these already before, so I knew this was gonna be an easy win. I figured it would take me at least two months, but this might actually only take me one month. I might be done with this by the end of January. So that's good. That'll be, that'll be a real quick, nice win. Um, which is one of the things that I was shooting for when I started this was that I needed to be able to have something that I knew I could definitely do. Um, so I went with this because I knew that I would get through that really easily. Um, what else? I am... Oh, Rite Aid has CoverGirl buy one get one 50% off and I wanted to do like a full face of CoverGirl review. I'm going to do that for March. I'm doing Joa in January. I'm trying out the Joa products that I bought at right at uh, CBS a week and a half ago or two weeks ago, a week and a half ago. I think it was a New Year's or the day before New, New Year's Eve, something like that. Um, so I'm trying out Joa products this month. There's a couple that I really like, like a couple other products that I'm just like, why is this so good? Um, uh, the other stuff's kind of like, eh, it's okay. Um, I do have to put my Joa foundation on tomorrow because the Friday, the foundation review for that is posting this coming Friday and I needed to check something. You'll see if you watch it, but other than that, I'm just working. Like I said, I'm going to, I'm going to finish the upload. I have to put in the description on the taste test video for tomorrow and I'm going to, um, start Wednesdays what I ain't a day uploading and then um that should be done by the time I'm done editing yesterday's vlog so that's the plan it's time for bed I'm closing the vlog twice in a row in the bathroom what she remembered I did remember to, to close the vlog um I'm doing it two days in a row in the bathroom though oh well um but it is it's almost 11 o'clock Neil is over at his friend's house again um I mean, I can't blame him. His friends are going to be going back to college next weekend, ne oh, this coming weekend, because school starts next Monday. Um, college starts next Monday, so like his friends are going to be leaving him in like six or seven days. So I understand, you know, why he wants to spend time with them and stuff. I'm not upset about that, but I am slightly upset about the fact that Wednesday is in my bed because Wednesday does not sit still. I don't know how Neil gets her to sit still while he's asleep, or maybe he just is used to her moving around and doesn't wake up but she's literally over there scratching right now, moving around. 
she normally won't stay like she's like hiding under the blankets otherwise i'd show her to you but um she's literally like doesn't sit still right i mean yeah and she part of the problem is that she keeps john awake and then john moving around keeps me awake i could probably ignore wednesday but i can't ignore john moving around so wow. there's that wow. well wednesday is nine pounds I'm not. you're not nine pounds anyway um i just finished up a couple of skincare products i'm actually trying to keep my empties did i tell you that already I think I told you that already, that I'm going to try to keep my empties this year and do like empties videos, maybe. Um, somehow I ended up getting like stuff all over the lid there. I mean, I know how, it was from another product, but the product I finished up. But anyway, I'm going to I'm gonna keep my empties this year and maybe do an empties video at six months and do another empties video at 12 months, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I don't use up enough products to warrant having like a monthly empties or even a bi-monthly empties. I don't even think I could do a quarterly empties. <laughs> um, like the, this is the cleanser I've been using and this is 8.5 fluid ounces. And I have been using this since last year. Well, duh, come on, Jessica. But like, I've been using this for like six months at least, at least six months. And I still have at least, I'd say at least two ounces left. Something like that. Um, so yeah, this is the cleanser I've been using. I also have this cleanser sitting here collecting dust because I did get this out to try it. Um, I bought this in uh, 21 Days of Beauty in the fall and I got this out to try it and it's fine. I mean, Part of the problem is that a cleanser is a cleanser. I mean, I've never really realized like any major difference in cleansers when I use them, when you use different ones. Um, serums, yes, very much so. Serums are probably like the A number one thing that I've noticed differences in and moisturizers. I have yet to find an eye cream that I really like. Um, I would love to find an eye cream that could like help fill in some of my lines or like plump my skin up enough to have some like some of my lines filled in. But I have yet to find an eye cream to do that. And I've got like, like right now, I literally have one, two, three, four, five, five eye creams sitting on my counter. Some of them I haven't tried yet. But I haven't really found any that are like groundbreakingly wonderful for my eyes. Um, I just saw a review on a new Paula's Choice eye cream. I'd consider getting that. I haven't bought anything from Paula's Choice though, so I don't know. And I really haven't had I really haven't had any any other like eye creams be like, oh my god, my eyes look amazing. I've had a couple, like I've had one that I really didn't like. I can't remember which one it was. But I had one eye cream that I really didn't like and I actually stopped using it. So there's that. Anyway, I'm rambling. Today, I am thankful that... John applied for his job. John got his application put in tonight for this job that he was thinking about getting, or thinking about applying for. Obviously he can't be sure he's gonna get it, but um, thinking about applying for at a different school. Um, it is a school, I think I told you guys, it's like he's looking at the, the local intermediate unit. So, um, so it's like a school specializing in special needs students. So, right, I mean, they don't have any, I mean, they. They're, they're a special needs school. Yes. Yeah. So it's a school that specializes in special needs. Um, but it's uh, it's intermediate unit, so it's still, like, funded by the state and that sort of stuff. So um, it's not like a private institution where they could go bankrupt. You know what I mean? Uh, so there's still a lot of job security and stuff there, like being a teacher and everything. So I'm thankful that John applied for that job, whether he gets it or not, whether he even gets an interview or not. I don't care, but I'm thankful he applied for it. Anyway, I hope today was better than yesterday, and I hope tomorrow will be just a little bit better than today. I hope y'all are having a great day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.